were back again. They were just moving along. And, you know, you know where I remember seeing you all the time? Outside Palladium. At Palladium? Yes. Outside? Well, weren't you always at the door? <laughs> no, you were thinking of Sally Randall. Well, <laughs> I would never do door. But I, you I, would stand there sometimes never. with Howie. Never. No, you would never. No, no, you got me confused with Sally. I know who Sally is. Yeah. Yeah. Howie. No, that's Sally. All right. Well, yeah. Sally was always outside yes. with Aleph. I was never, never. Never? No, no. I was a disc jockey. Always inside. I was inside. I would go down, I would go through a side entrance just so I didn't have to. Wow. Well, I remember seeing you all the time <laughs> at Palladium anyway, though, because Palladium was just, always had the best air conditioning. I always felt like I lived in an apartment at that time on no, Mulberry Street, I, I understand that, and it yeah. had no air conditioning, right. and I used to go to Palladium and just sit in those <laughs> seats up on top mm -hmm. until they kicked me out, because it was so good, the air conditioning. Well, we had the, the last uh, blackout and everything shut off. My husband and I spent our time going up and down 3rd Avenue on the bus. Because of the it was, air conditioning. Wow, yeah. this is Anita Sarko. Anita, you are She's famous. You are a living legend. She definitely I is. I don't know if I'm living. Oh, I guess you are living. Like you're living to She's living and believe me, as gorgeous as can be. I know. Tell her. So you are. So what are you doing these days? The guy is, uh, wife. His wife. Yeah. Yes. The, 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 the invisible wife, actually. Yeah, exactly. The fictitious wife. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah, what are you doing these days? Well, let me see. I just got back from Moscow. Wow. Again. With yeah, he said St. Petersburg. Well, because they have the money. That's where you go. You always, when you do foreign gigs. Were you working on? Oh yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't move unless someone else was paying me to do it. Sure. <laughs> wow. So um, you you DJed in my. Yeah, I, I DJed. Uh, the uh, Arts Academy had a some sort of seasonal whatever uh, over Thanksgiving. I always do foreign gigs on Thanksgiving because they don't have, have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right. So um, I did that, and then I lectured a uh, master class at the Arts Academy on the music wow. business. Wow. And uh, it was fun. It was a lot of so, fun. So, like, what? When did you? You were a DJ when, like, it was really. I still am one. <laughs> but, but, but when you were a DJ, it was albums. It was like really. I still, I still, I still play vinyl. You know what uh, I, I remember? I, don't, I really, I don't do enough live. Diane gigs. Brill parties. Did you do those? At yeah, well, Diane's one of my best friends. But uh, yeah, of course. I, I was, remember. I, I remember once there was a party there, and the whole night was like Sue Sue Studio. That. Oh my gosh, I always... Sting? No, it's Phil <laughs> Collins. Oh that, yeah, Phil, no, that's that, just bad. I, I know, but bad. I remember that right song with like Sling. I, oh. I would not with me. Good, that's good no, to no, know. No, 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 oh, no. I love it. Unless I was doing it as a joke. I think but, so. Uh, no, I one time did something with Diane where I just played Cuban music from 1956. Uh, but Cuban music filtered through the minds of Americans in Miami. Wow. In 1956. So, that, I mean, I, I love to do those types of... You know, I used to be in the playground with her. Um, Gecko. Oh, with, uh, with the with kids. Diane. Yeah. yeah. With Keenan right now for, for all this. Yes, that's and who I used, I used to, like... I used to bounce my knee. He's down here for university. Really? Yeah, so... Yeah, my kids are that old oh, really? now, too. Yeah. yeah, we used to play in the, in the playground. We're very close. Oh, We're very that's close. awesome. Yeah. Wow. And so where, kids. where did you DJ before Palladium? Oh my God, I started at, uh, Were you a dancer Mud here? Club. Oh, I love Mud. My first job in New York was Mud Club. I loved Mud Club. Uh, 1979. Wow. Probably before he was born, I'm sure. Uh, and then, um, Rock Lounge. Uh, I remember uh, Rock Lounge. Danceteria area, Palladium. Um, and then after Palladium, I pretty much got out of clubs. Well, yeah. I, I would do, I would do some things, but basically I did private parties. Right. You know. So do you get hired yes. like by like you know like yes. kings and queens to come do a party? I mean, you know, like, like, are I you like the DJ for, like the Black Eyed Peas like when they uh, like Prince have done parties? Yeah, in Houston. I mean, people like oh, get hired. Man, that's so awesome. But, uh, that's uh, cool. It is cool. I was like fashion shows. Uh, I just I just did uh, music for uh, Lady Gaga. Oh, that's that's cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So you're extremely fashionable. I mean, I'm sure they would love to have you. You're a living legend too. Like, so um, 
But speaking of palladium, it's amazing. It's so, it's sometimes it's so an odd to sit with you. Do you remember? It's <laughs> wonderful. I, I mean, I just remember Ayla. Aleph was great. I yeah. loved Aleph. Yeah. No, we all, we all had a good time. We always had... Aleph was we always... Had, we Aleph always used to let me in everywhere. Yeah. I was one of those nobody little people on the... He, and when he would be at MUD, he'd let me in. Then AM, PM... Aleph, I don't know, was at MUD. He but was at MUD. Later on? Maybe after I left. I don't know. That's where I, I met him. Because Richard Bach was the, uh, the door person. Huh? Okay, see, yeah. maybe... But things... Uh, clubs went on. Even I mean, I, I would be there during... Clubs were only good for a year and a half. Right. I would be there during that year and a half. I would move on, but if it doesn't mean the club was closed, right. You know, Jefferson, so do you remember every, Jefferson? I, I love Jefferson. I did too. I know. I was. He was there too. I think. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. But good I, guy. You know, we used to call our clubs ourselves the club mafia because it was always the same people right. who were at all the clubs. You know, oh, and it's pretty much the same now. The sound is like. I know, but it's. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I lived then because I don't know. You know, every everybody everybody thinks that their time was the best. Everybody thinks. You think? That, I don't know. My kids don't think their time is the best. Really? I never yeah. thought mine was. Well, I, I mean, I, I find that everybody. I mean, being a DJ, people love the music they loved when they were in their like Bush uh, Tetris was in around their teens. Then. They like they like the music during their teens and their twenties, and everybody is, seems to be stuck. At that moment, you know, if you're. Do you have any favorites from those days? Like, what well, were your favorites? A lot of, I have a lot of favorites, but I, I really don't. It's more, I mean, I'm really not like a Bono right, fan. Right, I'm right. more a Gap and Friday fan, if we're talking Irish music, more Virgin Gavin. Prunes. Who's he? Gavin? You don't know Gavin? No. He's Bono's best friend. Uh, if you listen to the Virgin Prunes, the, check them out. The Virgin Prunes. Yeah. You heard it here. It, when, you, when you see Bono doing his more theatrical, kind of gay, uh, you know, side, that's really him doing Gavin. They're still like that. Oh, like gay like that? When he when he does more of his... his oh, like, <laughs> no. He no. like that? Actually, they're both straight. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, so, no, I mean, what he does is, is the more, you know, gay right. stuff. But you have to see the Virgin Prunes. The Virgin Prunes. We're going to have to check that out. So, um, but like, I just remember, you know, yeah, those, the people are different. Like, all those, you remember those songs back then? Well, I mean, um, I love the Bush Tetras. I mean, I'll, I mean, uh, the, yes, Boris, all Pairs. Band, you know, all um, those types of things. Yeah, all Pairs. I mean, yeah. I don't like to get, I like to move forward. I do too. I don't, uh, I'm a I mean, musician, so like, I mean, you I, know, I mean, yeah. I, and I love I mean, I got, I Dallas. Dallas. Look at Miles Manley. Yeah, that was, that was, was Miles, did you see the movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. music well, is always evolving. That's a nice jacket, actually. He should, he should be. Have you seen the film? It's Harold, fashion week. Harold and Maude. Come on the camera, Maude. Do you mind if I take over your program? Not at all. Fashion week. He should be modeling. Yes, look. It's very James Bond. Look at this. He reminds me. This is a well turned out man. Actually, I should say, I should say that. I got this from the, the person I'm missing from, so even though he's not very nice man, he does give me shit. So well, nice. the shit he's giving you looks great. Yeah, this, right. this, now that's the man that you say about. Yeah. Yeah. That you fucked his wife and he gives you a coat. Maybe he's happy you fucked his wife. Exactly. His wife and he gives you a coat. Miles, it's called prostitution. Exactly. <laughs> called prostitution. exactly. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> Carolyn Mon. Oh my goodness! Nothing wrong with those songs, and the hat, the whole look is wonderful. So where are you from? Like Detroit. Okay. So it's Detroit. The, the lost city. It's the Atlantis of the United States. It is States. now. It is now. Yes, it no longer exists. But you I don't think there. it does? I don't think. I know. I grew up in the city. I didn't grow up in the suburbs. So like Motown. It's Motown is no longer. Everything by the when you were growing like, up, well, was it, it was, was it like? Was everything like that? Oh, it's horrible. Except, I mean, I mean, any any place that's a music city is usually a horrible place. I mean, when you have like a Manchester, Liverpool, you have a Detroit, Cleveland. That's where you're having the edgier types of music because mm -hmm. they're blue collar, industrial. There's nothing to do. You're angry. You're pissed off. I mean, it's, when I listen to the music, right? When I listen to music in L.A. or New York, fuck it. I mean, you can't come near what you're hearing from places that are really depressed. Right. You know, so uh, musically it was brilliant because um, I mean we we're right next to Canada, so as far as English music we got it right away because we had Canadian stations. 
Um, also, so our rock, if you listen like to Iggy, if you listen to, you know, I mean, anybody up till right now to, you know, White Stripes, things like that, you're going to hear more of a British sound to our rock than you're going to hear an American sound. Um, and then we also had the juxtaposition of when I was growing up Motown. So, right. I mean, I could go, you know, I, would, I grew up literally going into, you know, recording studios, going to the concerts of all these types of people, right. you know, and it was, it was just amazing because you had as much of a heavy R&B as you had a rock and roll, which is what made me different when I became a DJ right. because as a woman, they had never seen a woman who had really harsh taste and really knew R&B as deeply as I did. What so, sign are you? I'm on the cusp. Wow, it's a cusp kind of day. Everyone's oh, been a cusp. Uh, Taurus and Aries. Wow, the other wow. side. The wow. other She's side. over there and he's over there. Yeah, you're at the butt of the ball. I yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes. And our previous no, artist just, was a Taurus as well. Taurus. But too. wasn't he a cusp too? You know, but he, I, he's a, I think just a clear Taurus. But just think no, you're, just kidding. you're, 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 Eat your bagel. I know. <laughs> you know it's it's so small. Business sense combined <laughs> with your Aries uh, fiery well, I, out there. I went there. to law it's school. Amazing. Are you yeah. a lawyer? No, no, no. I just I went for a year and learned everything you need to know about contracts. Then, uh, so, so you're like the Lady Gaga of law school. Didn't she go to NYU and learn everything she needed to, and then she left? So. You know, it's, it was well, just it was, it was boring, but it was it was good. It's good knowledge because I was able to postulates. Talk. And I was all able that. I was able to be my own manager, own agent. Oh, that's really God, what that's they had me. a little bit of your brain. <laughs> well, it's true. You, Not you much have love. To, oh, I don't know. You seem pretty, pretty wise to me. No, but that's why uh, they wanted me to lecture in Moscow because they had never heard of an artist who did all their own business. Mm -hmm. Very wise you are a woman. woman. Inspiration. But wise. still, when I went there, I mean, I know enough to know when I don't know enough. So that's I have okay. a friend who's an international music that's artist okay. and had a. Oh, I don't. You know, know the key for success that is that. Thing. The key that is the key to wow. success. Wow. So are you still yourself. managing yourself with good oh. management, and good economic sense, and good legal sense? Where do you live, if you mind? That's the way it works. Never seen. If you really okay. want to work your do you career. No, I don't live on the park. Okay, all <laughs> right. Grammarcy, right. right. where do you live? I live up down the block, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah, not yeah. too far from here. I lived in the West Village for a long time. Right. Um, but at, what I like about where I live now is uh, when I first lived in the West Village, it was pretty funny. I mean, it was like, it was so kind of old school that there was this one guy who would walk up and down West 4th Street, and he would carry a guitar case, and whenever he would get in front of a store that was around during hippie times, you know, like a leather store or a you know, head shop or something, he put his guitar case down, he'd open it up, pull out his guitar, and then furiously start singing protest songs. And then when he finished, he'd put it back in, get it all up, go to the next place that would have been around in the, in the 60s, do it all over uh. again. It was brilliant. And then... All of a sudden, later on, they started building all of these theme restaurants, yes. and it was just frat guys pissing in the street, screaming. Mm -hmm. So yeah, where I'm living, where I'm living now, is so under the radar. It is that you don't, you don't have. It is. Gramercy that. is a quiet neighborhood. I walk yeah. my dog over there. It's great. It is. It really is. We're gonna take a tiny break and come right back and get a skeleton from your closet because I know you have. This gotta have fun. one in there. Oh.